Thanks to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. This goofy little guy is called a planarian. Sure, it's just a flatworm at the bottom of a pond, but it has a very special superpower, one that scientists would love to harness. To show you, well, it's gonna get a little bit slasher movie here. Okay, don't worry. It's going to be okay. Seriously, I promise, it doesn't even hurt. That would be curtains for most organisms. I mean, this piece here is just a chunk with no head and no tail. But watch, you can see under a microscope that overnight its wound heals closed. Okay, maybe we could do that, more slowly, of course. But then, it starts to regenerate, growing new tissue. It's that white part, called the blastema. In a week, see those tiny little spots? They're new eyes, grown from scratch. But the planarian, can I call it that yet? It still kind of looks like a blob. By day 12, it's starting to look like a proper planarian. It's got a head, an entirely new one, and a new tail. And it's doing its regular planarian things, like uh, pooping. That's because one of the first things it started regrowing was a tube called the pharynx, which is how things go in and out. It sucks up food, like this beef liver that scientists are feeding it. After three weeks, it looks totally normal. From that one planarian, you get four. Other animals, like this newt, can regrow a toe or a tail. But planarians are practically the only animal that can regrow a head. So why can't we do that? Well, it all comes down to powerful cells known as stem cells. They're the green dots here, and they make up one-fifth of a planarian's body. They can turn into different kinds of cells and make every new body part. We only have stem cells that act like these when we're embryos. Once we grow up, we pretty much lose this ability. Though doctors have been able to get us to grow back a fingertip. But what if we could grow ourselves anew? A whole arm or a liver? Scientists are trying to figure out exactly how planarians do it. And maybe one day, these humble flatworms could inspire new ways to heal our injuries. Hi, it's Lauren again. This kind of planarian is from San Francisco. Those aren't ears, they're oracles. It uses them to feel around. You can tune in to more Deep Look by following us over to Patreon. You'll get special members-only benefits, like behind-the-scenes peeks at how we make our show. Link in the description. Thanks, and see you soon. Thank you to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. CuriosityStream is a subscription streaming service that offers documentaries and non-fiction titles from a variety of filmmakers, including CuriosityStream originals. Age of Big Cats is the untold story of the seven major species of big cats who clawed their way to the top and came to dominate the land. You can learn more at curiositystream.com deeplook and use the code deeplook during the sign-up process.